Whether or not you use foreign currency in your new Dynamics GP system, you're going to have to do some multi-currency setup to make the system work the way that you'd like to. Let's take a look at it. The first thing I want to do is grant access to my new company to the US dollar. So to do that, I'll go up to Tools, Setup, System, and Multi-Currency Access. Here I have all the currencies that were loaded with the system when it was installed. What I want to do is select the US dollar. And then I want to make sure that my new company has access to that US dollar. And you can see here that it does because this box is checked. Now the next thing I need to do is go to my general ledger and do some setup there. So I'll go to Tools, Setup, Financial, Multi-Currency. It'll bring up this window here. And all I need to do here is identify a functional currency. This is the main currency that will be used in my company. I'll select the US dollar. I also need to select a reporting currency. It'll be the same, the US dollar. And then I need to identify default transaction rate types. These three rate type IDs are installed with the system. I merely need to select one for each of these three fields here. So I can look them up and I'll just select average for each of those three fields and I'm done. This is all the setup I need to do to make my general ledger ready to post transactions and to do reporting. If I needed to do enhanced foreign currency handling, I could easily do that in Dynamics GP as well.